the number one movie in the country. American Sniper, you sat down with one of the actors from the film who had a real life connection with Chris Kyle. He did, a close connection. His name is Kevin Lace. He's a retired Navy SEAL, and this guy never dreamed that he would end up playing himself in the movie. Now, Kevin gave me his unique perspective on Chris Kyle and what it really means to be an American sniper. Um, there has been controversy surrounding the film. What's your take on all of it? I can say this. We as Navy SEALs, as Special Operations Soldiers, are professionals and we, we aim to do our job like that all the time. I do realize that war is polarizing. No matter which side you take, there's no question Kevin served his country with honor. You did it all. You were a medic, you were mm -hmm. a sniper, you did the watches, you did you did it all. When you, when you look back, what was the hardest part for you? Um, probably leaving. It's leaving the SEAL teams because you you form these relationships that you can't just pay money to get into that club. It's that blood, sweat, and tears that get you there, and you build those bonds, and those bonds will last forever. Leaving the team was more difficult than combat. You have to be in awe of guys like Kevin. So how does he go from soldier and movie consultant to starring in an Oscar-nominated Best Picture? It was amazing. They set up a training for Bradley and I, and I ended up, I ended up on a range in L.A. in February, and Bradley's on the, on the gun and he looks up, he's like, you ever think about playing yourself in the movie? And I was completely at a loss of words. And um, so the next night he tells me, hey, I'm gonna tell Clint you have to be in this movie. Talk to me about the scene where the darts are being thrown at you. Oh, that's a great scene, isn't it? It's, it's one of my favorites. It's a great favorite. scene. Um, that was actually the day my wife and son were on set. And my, my son was watching on the monitor and he looks up and he's like, gets a little scared. He's like, is everything all right with daddy? Here we go, here we go. Boy, boy. Boom! Right there. Were they real darts? Teams I can't really answer that. <laughs> the SEAL teams The magic of Hollywood the magic too, of Hollywood. right? Yeah. But on February 2nd, 2013, real life got in the way of a Hollywood ending. Chris shot and killed by a fellow veteran on a gun range. Where were you when you heard the news? I was at a party with a couple of friends of mine. It was a birthday party and I found out I got like 20 text messages all at once. Is it true? Is it true? And um, I talked to a few guys that were there, were close, and uh, they confirmed it. Your favorite memory from being with Chris? It's probably the day in 2007 when we were at our, at our, our uh, medal ceremony, and um, my dad came, and we both have our, our bronze stars on. Kevin first met Chris in 2005 when he joined SEAL Team 3. Chris was already known as Legend, and it was Chris who gave Kevin his nickname Dauber from the TV show Coach. They'd served together on two of Chris's four tours. Chris was a person I looked up to, and a lot of people looked up to. And as the deployments went by, you know, we, that friendship grew, and we became, you know, really close. He was so special in so many different ways to his cause, to the military, to the SEAL teams, his family um, is gone in a split second.